Hello YouTube and welcome to Jared997's Guide to Farm Sim 17 the, for the XKCD crowd and everyone else. In this episode we have Fielding, Plow, Cultivate, Seed. With the new release of the Coon Pack you can do Plow and Cultivating and Seeding all at the same time. But at 4 meters, is it really worth it? So we are going to find out, and yes there will be math, hopefully um, it won't be too much in this episode it's really straightforward so uh, with that in mind uh, there will be no in a nutshell skip forward in this episode we will just get right to it so here we are on the farm um, this is my setup I use the Challenger with the super large engine and the triple tires. So I want to make sure that all the implements that I am testing are overpowered so that I can't possibly slow it down um, just by using them. This is a potato harvester. It does have fertilizing too. Yes, you can plant potatoes and fertilize at the same time, liquid fertilizer. Okay, here's all the rest of the equipment I used. Uh, the plows, there's the plow I used. There is the do the Great Plains um, seed and feed uh, cultivator plow smaller ones and here is the setup I used for the new coon pack uh, and the coon pack today is brought to you by V Blue Guitar yes check out Arthur Chapman's channel he has lots of farm sim uh, episodes and uh, spin tires and uh, American Truck Simulator and everything. Go check him out. He's on my featured channels list down below. Uh, but here it is. You got your seed pack on the front. You have a plow set up, a cultivator set up, and a seeding uh, set up on the back. And in this case, this, this, this case can pull it around easily. We're up and let's switch. Here we go. No problems pulling it right up to about 11 kilometers. It's rated for 12. The cedar's rated for 12. Um, why can I not? Did I? Oh, I put a helper in it. That's why. Ha ha, that's funny. That is not what I wanted to do. The cedar's rated for 12. Oh, that's funny. If we're plowing and cultivating, it's still only doing 12. Ah, oh, that's a bug. Watch. Cultivator. And we will go down to Coon Pack. Where is it? Here. You're rated for... Oh, okay. The plow is rated for 12. All right. Cultivator is 15. Um, and the sewing... Coon pack ding red 15. All right, so this plot is slowing you down. All right, anyway, not a problem pulling it around. It's got oodles of horsepower. Uh, that's the only drawback. If you stick those three on the back, uh, you have a horsepower requirement addition, and I will show you about that when we get into the, uh, the spreadsheet. It's a uh, hundred plus hundred plus hundred and thirty if I if I'm not mistaken. So that's that. That's the coon setup. Uh, we use the Amazon uh, Condor fifteen thousand and one. Uh, this will seed and cultivate and fertilize at the same time. And the the horse uh, that one will not cultivate, but it'll seed and fertilize. So that's what we use for that. And Everything else other than the coon setup was pulled by the Challenger. The only reason I didn't use the Challenger for the coon setup is I can't stick the feed bag on the front of the tractor. All right, that's it. I use this field here and field 27. Um, there's another Challenger with a cultivator sitting back there. Um, and basically, I will get into method after we have a look at my spreadsheet. So let us fade to, uh-oh. 
we might have some technical difficulties again. Ah, oh, come on. Fine. Farm sim, go to the other monitor. Other virtual desktop. It is not picking. Oh. Please stand by as we have a moment of technical difficulties. And we're back. Look at that. Here we are. <laughs> it was a technical difficulty on my part. Oh, I'm so fired for that. Yeah. There we go. And we even have my stream name on there too. Oh, a little bit far off. Ah, there it is. All right, so we have here on the upper left, we have the Coon Plow Cultivator Cedar Hopper. You need uh, model numbers. They all have four meter uh, working with. The rated speed is 12, 15, and 15. In reality, even overpowered, you can only pull them at 11 kilometers an hour. Yes, I'm using kilometers an hour. I'm Canadian, well, miles per hour. 11 is approximately, what, 13? Or is it 1.6? Uh, yeah, sorry, it's 1.6, so that's, um, oh, sorry, if I'm going, it's the other way around. Oh, so it's like eight, seven, eight miles per hour. Blast. So you're only getting about seven or eight miles per hour out of that. Um, horsepower requirements. So 130 to pull the plow. If you're pulling the plow all by itself, you only need 130 horsepower tractor. If you're pu pulling the plow, cultivator, and cedar, look at that, you need 330 horsepower to pull it. That's quite a bit. So, I mean, they're small implements, but you need a lot of horsepower for it. Uh, 1500 liter capacity. And so here's your time. 13.6 um, minutes to run one hectare, uh, which again is 10,000 square meters in a hectare. Uh, so 13.6 minutes. How long does it take you to do a hectare? 13.6 minutes. Done. So the Salford plow, that was the red one we saw in the game, the 83, uh, 83.12. It will do 6.2 meters wide, and uh, not a bad plow. I like it. Or the the uh, the blue one, the 11. 6.2 meters. Am I sure about that? That doesn't seem right. Er, come back here. I am going to. Ah, oh, now I've done it. I've even tabbed out of the wrong vehicle. So not only can you not see me in the field, you cannot see that I'm tabbing around to all my different vehicles. Because I hit the wrong button, man! Please bear with me. Here we are. Back to... Ding! The Challenger. Um, is it indeed plows? Plows. Salford. Uh, 6.2 meters. The Lemkin, ah, that's why 4.9, but you can vary the uh, you can vary the width on that one. That's right. I've been doing a lot of missions lately, and more often than not, they give you the Lemkin, um, and it's 4.9, and you can actually vary the pitch on the plow tines and make it smaller. So yes, that's right. 6.2. Ah, back to open calc here. Eem. Here we are. So, uh, 6.2 meters width, working speed of 14.5 kilometers an hour. It, if you overpower it and you set your cruise control like to 45 of your max speed, um, you're, it'll go between 14 kilometers and 15 kilometers an hour. So I average it 14 and a half. Um, so square meters per minute is the calculation. You need 300 horsepower to run it. It'll do you one hectare in 6.7 minutes. Not bad, but we still need two if we're comparing to plow, cultivate, and seed. You need the, the condor seeder. Biggest one you can get right now. This is this is all non-mod, okay? We're not looking at any mod stuff. Well, what about this mod? This mod can do this, this mod can do that. Great, we're not talking about mods right now, just stock stuff. Um, condor 15,001, it'll do 15 meters. Um, again, rated speed of 15, but works at 14 and a half. You only need 270 horsepower to run it. This one, again, it's either or. You're not pulling these both at the same time, so you can get a 300 horsepower tractor 
and do uh, uh, either one. So it'll take you 6.7 minutes to plow, 2.8 minutes to fertilize per hectare. That gives you a total time of 9.4 minutes. Ding, we have a clear winner. It is faster to plow and to plow, cultivate and seed using the larger setup than it is with the coon. Now, this doesn't take into consideration going back and forth, changing implements. I mean, one hectare field is not that big. You might take a, a minute or two to, you know, drop the plow, pick up the cedar. Um, but the bonus you get in this, the bonus you get in this, and watch this, I'm even going to highlight it. Ha <laughs> ha! You can fertilize too, so you're saving an extra step that you're not doing with the coon pack. You are plowing, cultivate seed, and fertilize in 9.4 minutes per hectare. We have a winner. Um, now, just to compare smaller things, I said, okay, what what sort of implements can we use with a hundred horsepower cap? So if you're using these one at a time, one at a time. So instead of let's see, instead of max here. I'm going to do sum, and the answer here is 40. So if you're using these one at a time, one at a time, um, your maximum horsepower requirement would be 130, okay? So your time to do one hectare would be 40 minutes. So here is the other non-coon, the non-coon pack, okay? So this is the DC-401 in the pack. This is the one that comes with the game, the Very Master 150, 153, um, and the Cultivator, the Cultimer L3 uh, 130 or 300. I will pop into the game here and show you that in a second. So, Cultivator, this is the Cultimer L300, comes with it, uh, with the game, three meters, and then the Coon Pack Cultivator. Uh, four meters, uh, a little bit bigger. Check out Arthur uh, Arthur's video on his Coom Pack review. He goes through everything, all the new uh, items in it. They're pluses and minus compared to what's in in the game. Um, prices per meter, everything. Really good review on it. So those are the differences. Let us head back to the spreadsheet. So, sorry, maximum of 130 horsepower because you need 130 for the plow. Uh, and the Great Plains sower, uh, the green one, I'm not considering fertilizing. I didn't take into account fertilizing with that. Um, but if you use it one at a time, uh, these would be do you better, but you fertilize. Oh, I didn't take that into account. Um, the goal of this exercise here was just to compare the Coon Pack with standard uh, in-game items. So I didn't take into consideration fertilizing. That would have been extra uh, above and beyond or out of scope, if you will. But 46 minutes. So if you're doing them by singles, yes, the Coon Pack is faster. Uh, but the Great Plains will fertilize for you. So maybe that maybe that evens it out. Yeah. Uh, here's my setup, the, the Challenger MT900 with the 975 engine, 646 horsepower, more than enough to pull anything here, the triple wheels, max speed 40 kilometers an hour. Ta-da! Um, but this got me into seeding. Um, I, it looked like different different crop types were taking different, uh, different amounts of seed. So for today's extra content, we have seeding rates. Woohoo! Um, so we will look into this. I started with the Condor, the Horish, and the Great Plains Cedar. And what I did here is we took wheat, I took the volume at the start, volume at the end, ran it for 30 seconds down the field, and calculated how many, how many liters per second of seed I was using. Okay, and then with some math here, uh, we convert kilometers to per hour to meters per second, multiply it by meters per second, toss in our volume uh, liters per second, and we get liters per hectare. So this is how much seed you are using for this crop per hectare. 
okay and so as we see here seed is seed okay when you purchase seed it doesn't you're not purchasing wheat seed or soy seed or grass seed you're buying seed so the most expensive crop to lay down is canola 744 um okay the in general this is right the cheapest uh the cheapest thing to lay down is your oil seed radish which is good uh maybe i'll do another episode on whether it's cheaper to uh put your oil seed radish in as compared to other fertilizing methods uh that sounds good because that's some you have to take a look at different costs from different places there again beyond the scope here um horse sunflower soy is the same corn sugar beet is the same liters per hectare and then the great plains wait a minute wheat to lay down wheat so if we stop and think about this for the minute if you're planting wheat like if i'm going out to my backyard and i'm going to plant a small plot of wheat okay we take the same strain of wheat same seed wheat seed i'm going to want to put so much seed per square foot in the ground to get an adequate yield of wheat so it should stand to reason that all the in-game seeders are going to put wheat out at a standard rate but look at this 634 524 uh this isn't right so we go back to the great plains and i ran it a few more times on just on wheat and look at this i got a couple different answers um now this is a i looked at this and this is a 30 second time so look my answers are differing by about a liter and I'm going to say that my, I, I was pretty accurate to plus or minus maybe half a liter. So like I said, I, I had a timer in front of me. I started on the field. I had the tractor running at speed, um, at the sewing speed. And then I hit uh, B on the keyboard to start sewing and start on my timer at the same time, ran it for 30 seconds and B and stop at zero. And I got my speed so I thought well I'm getting some inaccuracies here so I ran it all again at two minutes here okay to get a little bit more accurate speeds and the Great Plains I ran it at two minutes and a little bit better 613 606 I'm gonna say it's about 613 which is between 606 634 so great two minute time should be more accurate right so here's wheat here's the condor wheat uh, but um, here is the Coon Pack, the BTF 400 wheat, um, and the Great Plains. I ran it again, 613. So, yeah, not accurate between the implements. What is going on here? Uh, let's see, canola 731, canola 847, canola 855 wow something is going on it's not the same not the same anyway the two minute time is the same thing loaded it up ran it down the field for two minutes the uh, start stop difference liters per second and then take the working with your working speed and turn it into that now i thought well if i'm doing this for seeds some of these things can fertilize too i took down the fertilizing um numbers too so we see the let's see wheat fertilized per wheat and again it should be if you fertilize per wheat you want to fertilize the same amount per square foot so to speak or uh, per hectare um, for your crop but no it's different look at this 124 liters per hectare 201 liters per hectare for wheat uh, let's go up to canola. Where are we here? Canola, 204 liters per hectare. Canola down here, 124. Huge difference. So like, uh, oh, and when I got into the seeding, um, I ran the um, the Grime uh, GL860 Compacta, and that is, da da da. Oh, I gotta do farm sim. Ding that guy there uh, it will fertilize and do potatoes but it's liquid fertilizer this just takes liquid fertilizer don't buy the solid stuff or pull up to the solid uh, placeable tanks um, <laughs> because it won't fill All right. you can see it over there see I've got some 
got the tanks filled up there I pulled up to the solid tank and I'm like why is this not filling up well that is why it is not filling up all right back to mr. spreadsheet 239 liters per hectare ah! but we can't really compare because it it's using liquid as compared to solid fertilizer so not quite a fair comparison uh, and I only did the one because it only one um, machine machinery type for seeding because it fertilized two. I didn't look at the different width for potatoes. So here on this screen, I've sorted everything first by type. Oh, I missed again. Oh, I'm fired. Whoops. No, not number eight. There we go. First by your seed type, barley, canola, corn, gra man. You know, because when I did these before, I had them grouped and I didn't do, anyway. Grass, potatoes, radish, soy, sugar beet, sunflower, wheat, sorted by seed type, and then the working width, okay, for each group. And now we're gonna look at how many liters per hectare. So, uh, barley, you use less seed per square foot, in air quotes, okay, liters per hectare, uh, use less seed with the smaller working width. As we go up to the four meter, use a little bit more. As you go up uh, a little bit more, about the same, I'd say within the margin of error. 15 meter, less seed. 10% um, less seed, more than 10% less seed. Uh, canola, uh, it use 855 liters per hectare in air quotes, square foot. Um, 847 for the four meter and 713 for the 15 meter. My gosh, potatoes. Yeah, you're gonna use a lot of potatoes per uh, hectare. <laughs> so prepare to be prepared by a lot of, of seed. Uh, oil seed radish, you're not gonna wanna fertilize. I'll get to that in a second. Uh, soy, three meters four meters nine meters it's going down 15 meters still going down so you use less seed per hectare with the bigger implement i don't know why it should be a standard rate okay you're gonna want to put in the same amount of seed per square foot that you're doing no matter how big your implement is. Uh, so to try and dumb this down a little bit, um, if my seeder is two square feet wide, okay, and I'm putting in, uh, let's say I'm doing it by hand, I, I've got a hand seeder, I'm gonna drop in um, one handful of seed per square foot. Da, 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 da. Let's say now I'm doing it by two, I'm using two handfuls, I can do two square feet at, at uh, once, I'm still putting in one handful of seed per square foot because I can do, you know, two at a time. I've got two handfuls, I can do two square feet at a time. So the the rate is still one handful per square foot if I'm doing it by hand. So that is the idea. So if you're using a longer implement, like the Condor is longer than the Great Plains or the, uh, the BTF 4000, you should be using more seed per second because you're covering a larger area. Um, and so this, these numbers take into account the fact that you're using a larger implement and it's also taking into account that you're running at a different speed. Um, Cause some of these are running at a different speed. So this is all normalized data. These numbers should be all the same within some error. Don't ask me why they're not. Fertilizing, some of these can fertilize at the same time. Um, so here we look at the Great Plains, three meters using 117 um, liters of fertilizer per hectare for barley. But now look at this. The, the the condor, 15 meters, you're using 208 liters per hectare on barley. It's backwards. Uh, let's see here. This is canola, 124, 204. So the bigger the implement, the more uh, fertilizer you're using. 
um, corn grass. I don't, you don't, actually, yes, you do want to fertilize grass because if you plant a, a field of grass and you fertilize it, you'll get a better yield out of it. I read that somewhere. If someone wants to confirm that or put a link in the comments, great. Uh, that would be awesome, but um, I haven't tested it myself. I'm just putting that out there. Um, <laughs> potatoes, liquid fertilizer, using more. Uh, that's the most. If you're running potatoes, you're putting the most liquid fertilizer down per per hectare. Oil seed radish. You don't want to you don't want to fertilize radish. I mean that is your fertilizer. It's there because if you put radish in a sower that also has a fertilizer compartment, it will use the fertilizer on the oil seed radish and you don't need to. So don't do it. Uh it's easy soy. 117, 186, 190. Again, it, it's backwards. And then we look at the wheat. Uh, this includes the, the multiple runs on the Great, great Plains I used. Uh, here, 124 for 3 meter, 201 with the 50 meter. I don't know why it's backwards, but it's backwards. Um, maybe you need more fertilizer because you're spreading it over a bigger area. Uh, maybe the for the broadcasters, the uh, the plates are spinning faster. I don't know what it is, but it's backwards. Maybe, maybe it's a trade-off. So you're using the bigger implement. Uh, you use less seed, but you use more fertilizer. Eh, like pick one or the other. So, um, in a nutshell, ha <laughs> ha. Here's the answer to the question, is the coom pack worthwhile? The answer is no. 13.6 minutes as opposed to 9.4. Use the bigger implements. Um, the coom pack is cooler though. It looks cool. You can have fun doing it. Uh, you don't need to unattach, reattach. If you want one dedicated tractor for doing that work, you can do it and just leave it filled up. I think I thought it looked cool. So that's it. Coom pack is not more efficient than doing it with the larger implements. Today's extra content involved seeding rates, and the answer here is use the bigger implements, use less seed per field, and for the implements that also f fertilize, you use more fertilize more fertilizer with the bigger implements per field. Maybe in another episode, I will do um, fertilizing per field with the sower com combination as compared to the standalone fertilizers. That sounds good too. If you have any other ideas for future episodes, please leave those in the comments below. And like and subscribe. This has been Jared 997 Sky 2 Farm Sim 17. This episode has been fielding, plowing, cultivating, and seeding with the bonus extra content of today being seeding and fertilizing rates. Thank you for watching and have a nice day.